Hello everyone, Brandon here, and it's time for more episodes of Sex Sexpertise! Our question is, when is the best time of year to fall in love? Well, whenever you find love, you should appreciate it, whatever, so that would automatically make it like the best time of the year, because falling in love is a huge deal and should be celebrated no matter what season it is. Personally speaking, I've always wanted a boyfriend in, like, fall into, like, early, like, New Year, winter, because, like, having a boyfriend for Halloween would be so much fun. You can dress up together, host a party maybe, go out together, wear sexy outfits. I just think it'd be really cool to have a boyfriend before Halloween. And then hopefully the relationship would continue into November, because then my birthday's in November, so then I'd get a birthday present. And we could also hopefully spend Thanksgiving together and meet each other's families, see how our family is like, our new man, etc. Even though if we only just started dating in October, that would be kind of maybe a little short notice. But whatever, I want a boyfriend that I can get birthday presents and spend thanksgiving with and then if we last through december that means christmas presents and i can get him a present and he can get me a present and then we can also maybe spend more time with each other's families even though i mean like meeting the family isn't like a huge thing to me like i don't really care if my ideal boyfriend's family likes or hates me i mean i hope they would like me but like it's no big deal if they hate me because like i don't really need them in my life but whatever It'd be fun to spend a summer together. And also, like, New Year's. We could do something fun for New Year's. We could go away somewhere or just, like, spend the New Year together, have a New Year's kiss. And then, if we last through January, we have Valentine's Day together. And I've always wanted a Valentine's, so then that would also be perfect. So, I definitely ideally want a boyfriend through October through February. And they say that spring is breakup season. I, like, wrote an article about that before, too. It's, like, people just tend to break up in the spring for some reason before summer. Maybe if they're, like, in school or whatever, like, the semester's ending, they might be going their separate ways and graduating, so they may not make their relationship last, or some people just want to be hot and single and slutty in the summer, so they can do that as well. And spring is just the time people tend to break up. But there's also this thing called cuffing season in, like, the black urban community. It's just when people, like get together, decide to get in a relationship for fall that lasts through winter, so they have someone to, like, cuddle with, and it's, like, cold, so they probably don't feel like getting dressed up and going out. They just want to have their man already, and that would be another great reason to have a boyfriend for fall, winter, cold time, because who wants to get dressed up, just looks hot and sexy, and then you're out in the cold, you have to wear layers, and, like, ugh, it's freezing, and then you don't have to, like, worry about, like, finding a man, because you'll already have one. So, I do think that fall into like early winter is the best time of year to have a boyfriend. I mean nothing wrong with having a boyfriend in the summer and spring too. Like it's warm and like romantic. Like the flowers are sprouting. You'll be happy because it's like sunnier and warm and fun and then you can just like go out beach trips together look hot and sexy and whatever. But if I had to pick a best time of year to fall in love I would ideally like to fall in love in late September or October, so then we can last through all the holidays of the fall and early winter. So, I hope that helped answer your question, and join me again for more sex for teas later!